They all, I always knew right. he was going to go out because it was always someone who said, oh, I did a wonderful photo this week. I was, I smashed it. It was always that person because they're highlighting who would go out. Great. So I was trying to watch to see if they do How that. How does that work? Further, who puts them out of that? Judges? Tyra. Oh, Tyra Banks. does it now. Whatever. Caddy Osborne. Didn't Peter, she used to do it? Peter Crouch's wife or something. Um, <laughs> whatever. Um, <laughs> but yeah, but they don't do the clues like that on Big Brother. You can't really tell who's going to go. Um, Unless you've been spoilerized by yeah, jumping to the end. exactly. So then Bruno and Kevin were bitching about Dylan uh, losing the hot his tub. temper. They're like, he's a professional athlete. Blah, blah, blah. Well, we know that he's... <laughs> he's extre- he's he a, was. He's about maybe. as professional an athlete as we are podcasters. He's about as... Yeah. <laughs> as about professional as Emily as a pizza maker. <laughs> I noticed that when Kevin and Bruno were having that discussion... Hey, this is a professional podcast. We don't have a theme tune. <laughs> I don't want a theme tune. tune. Fuck that. Um, there were seagulls making a lot of noise in the background in that garden. Were Did you there? notice that? Yeah, no, it's a house that. by the sea. It's in Toronto, isn't it? Is there a sea in Canada? <laughs> um, there must be. Must some. have a coastline. <laughs> East coast, Does west it? coast. Yeah, New Fee. I know these things. Not, <laughs> not really. Um, then um, Bruno and Kevin said it would be disastrous if Dylan puts up Cindy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Cindy did basically just got put up to piss Kevin and Bruno off. Why not just put? Put up Kevin or Bruno, though. That's what I don't understand. Yeah. I suppose because there's two, of, maybe, two of them. Maybe. And they got, don't dare. Maybe because Cindy's made a move, but that was mm. Ica's move. So you'd put Ica, surely. Because mm. Ica orchestrated that, but Ica's a better game player. But, and also, Ica's more fun to be around. Who is it that um, said Ica's key? She's like the queen. Um, ah, Kevin and Bruno, when they were convinced mm. they needed to put Dylan Dylan's sights on Ica, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, Queen. I've got a question. Is Ica the winner of Big Brother Canada? No, five? not in a million years. Do you not years. think she is? No. Are you serious? I feel like if she can keep herself safe, <sighs> she you could win it. You must be tripping. No Well, chance. who do you think is going to win it at this stage? Not Ica. Halfway no through. Or Karen. You're right. There's not that many people left. <laughs> like, no one else has Dimitri made any could moves. Win. If Dimitri lost, he could win because he's very likable. I could see That's people true. wanting to give it to him. Um, who else? Bruno, Kevin, no. Exactly. Dylan, No. no. Dre, no. Dre, maybe, if she... What's she no. done, though? All right, then. William. William won't. No. What else is there? So how can it only be halfway through? Everyone's gone. So basically, it's going to be Karen or Dimitri. Karen to win. <laughs> <laughs> I would like her to win. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> um, and then what? We're oh. the underdog right now. Who said that? Kevy Wevy. Kevin, the fucking self-proclaimed underdog. You don't tell us you're the underdog. We decide who the <laughs> underdog is. Underdog. It's not Kevin, is it? He's not the underdog. Who is the underdog? William. Kevin, but him saying I'm the underdog, that's like saying, oh, people like me. Well, they don't fucking like... Because the <laughs> audience likes the underdog, don't they? And oh, that's like, true. Oh, we're the underdog. No, you ain't the underdog. Mm, Jackie is yeah. the underdog. Yeah, but any... we don't like her. I know, but she is the we underdog. We should like her, but her. we don't. But why she don't is we? the underdog for sure, yeah. actually. And then the mop and bucket appeared. Hold on. What? Kevin what said, mm. back during that it was Ica's move. Cindy had nothing to do with that. Nothing to do with it. Well, Cindy was HOH. Tra- oh, yeah, I've got that, yeah. She was HOH. She must have had something to do with it. <laughs> and I've put uh, sexist in brackets. I don't know why I've declared that sexist. I'm not but... sure either. <laughs> <laughs> sexist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. Now the mop and bucket appeared. Mm. So... Ica immediately got hackles up. <laughs> <laughs> was this task? It wasn't a task, was it? Was it? It was just by a... oxyclean. It was no, but I've <laughs> mentioned oxyclean somewhere in my notes as well. <laughs> After five weeks in space, right? <laughs> the Odyssey is in need of a good scrub in, said Big Brother via a laminate, probably. <laughs> <laughs> He read you, that out. If you're in real space, do you have to clean the spaceship? Do you have a Hoover or? Mm. Do I wonder if it gets dusty or not. All of the bits must float around all the time, right? Because there's Tim nothing, Peake, no service. if you're listening, can you, <laughs> can you let us know what the situation is? All the bits <laughs> floating around. That sounds disgusting. Probably there's an air filtration system and that's all you need because everything floats. Ooh, gross. Like, water doesn't even stay on the side. So... On the side? You don't get any water marks. Oh, I wish mm. you're going to live in space. Yeah, it's weird. Um, um, all hands on the poop deck, my <laughs> friend. <laughs> <laughs> So the best thing about this was, of course, Karen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she was complaining that she doesn't even clean up after her family, right? And she talked about her husband, Brucey, 62. <laughs> Why did she do that? Who did that remind you of? Why did she? 
Okay. Stephen Kidd, grandma, <laughs> 74, <What>? sister. <laughs> why did she talk about her husband like she was in a tabloid? <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, Brucey, 62. <laughs> I enjoyed it, though. <laughs> and then she's like, Kevin, get in here. Pick up your socks. Sweet <laughs> treats. What are you doing? Get in here. Get the kitchen towel. <laughs> she went around, like, checking the <laughs> yeah. surfaces, like, with a yeah. white glove. This isn't clean. You've missed a yeah. bit. <laughs> did he use Windex on that? <laughs> and then so Dylan said, I think Karen's on a secret mission to, to piss, piss everyone, everyone off. off. That's funny. <laughs> and William said, I hate cleaning so much. <laughs> so was this whole thing just so that someone would find the... the I tip? thought it yeah. was a really good idea, actually. Hang on. Mm. But one thing. Go on. Apparently, William is a lifestyle blogger. What does oh, that yeah. mean? We noticed that at the same no, time because my friend John said, what? I've but never no noticed wonder he doesn't like cleaning. Lifestyle blog- bloggers don't clean. But honey. I've never seen that come up about him before, lifestyle blogger. Really? Never. I think it has. I must have done sure. it. It was funny that we were just like, what? <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> I was like, what? Does... Um, anyway, go on. But yeah, no, I thought this was a really good idea because oh. basically Big Brother ensured that the house would be crawling with everyone. Yeah, while... so they had an equal chance of getting it, really. Yeah, mm. that's true. Mm. But while whoever was doing the mission, mm. they'd have to kind of like covertly oh, yeah. go around the people that were cleaning and oh. having to overturn the entire house. I thought that was really a good idea. Mm, William is really stealthy as well. <laughs> <laughs> Very subtle. <laughs> We're looking under the pool table. I am so glad that William got that. Imagine if it had been someone's shit. It would be so crap. Imagine if it was Jackie. Oh, God. Imagine, Imagine if, if it was Bruno. Bruno. Oh, God. Gross. I'm so- <laughs> William getting that was mm. the dream. But do you think it's homophobic to send a gay guy up a black hole? <laughs> <laughs> I've written something like that in a bit. He said, if I get caught, the mission is void. But he got He caught. was caught. <laughs> We called Big Brother out on this Fix. earlier. <laughs> um, so he found a clue. Where did he find the first clue? It's like in the bin underneath oh, the yeah, bin Oh, yeah, and then bag. he hid it under the... He was reading it under the fridge when someone... Basically, he took it out, <laughs> and I was like, why are you not putting it in your pocket? Yeah, he, he put decides, it in his pants, and then he hid it under the He fridge. decided the better place to yeah. hide it was under the chest yeah. freezer. <laughs> but then I thought, that might be a good yeah, idea, because you could act it. like you're, like, cleaning under yeah. there. <laughs> Who, and then under the freezer, come on. Well, I don't know. <laughs> then Demetri... <laughs> Dimitri's came in the storeroom. Mm. Do you remember what he was looking for? No. <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he? he's like, how do we not even have mushrooms? And then William was like, oh, fuck, trying to hide this thing <laughs> under the freezer. I noticed William was wandering around with a kitchen towel in his hand for quite a long amount of time. <laughs> yeah, not doing much. anything with why. it. I um, Karen. Karen calling Dimitri's, get up here. <laughs> Did you do all this room? <laughs> yeah. And then William said, every corner there's someone in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely got that, but it's a bit further I, down. I Hang on. It's because I've not got many notes. You need to I'm keeping us on us track here. On. I'm to steering this odyssey. I've only got the, the bare bones of this stuff. So, yeah. So, basically, the first clue was in the bin, mm-hmm. and the clue was mm. under something with six pockets mm. and 16 balls. That's pretty Sounds like a set obvious. of male housemates. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty obvious. So, the pool table. Off he goes. Mm. Subtly checking, like, mm. around the pool table mm. while... Didn't Bruno come out and decide yeah, and that he like, needed to take his shirt. jacket? Yeah, I know, why? <laughs> they on the, the Big Brother's rules again. that you had to, like, I think it's because whoever, like, had found the clue might put it in their pocket and they might lose it. But who's to guarantee they'd be wearing those plaid jackets? <laughs> Is that how you say that? Yeah. No, plaid, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was plaid. I think it's spelled plaid, plaid but I think you say plaid. Who <laughs> <laughs> <You> knows? <laughs> I do. We're in to go. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he, he goes there and he finds his next clue. What was the next one again? No idea. Uh, follow the section. green lines. Do you know those green lines that run through the house? No. No? No. There's like these like details of like perpendicular green lines that go around the house and in Ooh, certain places they go <laughs> they go into a into a square like okay. an entrance to the bedroom and stuff. So um William's following these green lines mm-hmm. all around. That's quite insightful of Big Brother mm. when he designed the Odyssey, mm. he, the creator. Mm, Arissa. <laughs> yeah. Arissa came up with this one. They thought we'll put these green lines around mm. and then we'll use them for the task. Wow. Anyway, okay. he followed the green lines to I think a bedroom or something. And then mm. William is in the diary room mm. and he goes and oh, this is when he says, mm-hmm. I'm trying to be sneaky right now, <laughs> but it's so hard. <laughs> Everyone is everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and that's when I said it was a great idea to set mm-hmm. this cleaning task. Mm. Um, clue mm. by the pool. Oh, the clue by the pool that he found. Why was it by the pool? Oh, was it in like a little stool or something? In a little che- divan? <laughs> divan? Thing, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he found one in the bedroom and oh, then went whatever. somewhere else, but may have missed out a clue. Let's not over um, it. 
There it was, was very to... stirring, dramatic music taking place. Oh, yeah, it's like a war film. I know, it's like... He said, it said he had to find a blue star, a I blue cannot, star I in the pantry. I cannot find the blue star. And this is when he said, my heart is beating red now. Every corner I turn, there's someone in my ass. <laughs> it's just like being in a gay sauna. <laughs> Um, even with the dry ice that come out of that fucking thing. <laughs> so he pressed the blue star, fucking bit of the wall. Comes uh, a bit of the off. wallpaper fell yeah, down. Yeah, that was good. I like that. It was dramatic. Like, it's how like, did they do that? And how? I don't know. What was behind there before? There must have been a panel they took out. Who built that robotic contraption? Where did they find that? What was the point in it? All <laughs> it she? did, all it did, was pick up a card. William's face was funny during that, though. I liked it. He looked like he was scared. He looked really shocked. You thought that thing was going to like I inject know, him grab or something? Him. Like, yeah, it should have done. Like that scene in uh, James Bond, that thing's about to drill into the side <laughs> of his head. <laughs> And did, I like the bit when he tried to touch it. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, flinch. He was nervous. It reminded me of that um, robotic mm. arm that turns the eggs in Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah. It was like that. It was quite good, really, wasn't it? But it was a bit elaborate just to turn around a yeah. metal plaque. <laughs> Maybe it'll come into play later. I don't know. I've put R2 fun. something to yeah. R2 B- uh, BB2. We'll workshop yeah, that we'll work for the on title. That. We'll work on that. Um, one. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I put, is this Marsha reincarnated as a robot? I was, thinking, I was thinking that. There's Maybe it's powered there, by there? Marsha's brain. <laughs> where is Marsha? Oh. I hope Marsha is going to make an appearance. Arissa, can you let us know where Marsha is, please? Thanks very much. Just okay. on, the, on the slide. Yeah, we won't <laughs> tell anyone. <laughs> she must come back in hologram form at least. It is space after all. Arissa's probably got Marsha in her back garden. <laughs> <laughs> if you thought that was scary, mm. um, William, you should try mm. Titan the robot. Remember when we had Titan in our house? I do remember that. That huge thing that could walk and chase mm. you and mimic your own voice oh and God. laugh at you and spray water at you. Wow, that makes a zingbot sound like a baby. <laughs> Zing! <laughs> <laughs> don't you remember when Josie Gibson had to do a task against Titan I in the task it, room and I it can't... was like... I can't picture it. It was like hoovering and stuff. Yeah. And Titan the robot did it better than Josie because oh she was God. so scared of that robot that was going to come near her. Wow. I do, I do remember it very, very, very vaguely. He's good. I've seen him in real life. Oh, at, really? At a Basement Jack's concert, actually. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. <laughs> How much drugs did you take him at that point? <laughs> <laughs> that None. Ne- that you know. never happened. <laughs> we just had two ciders. Um, Hold on. So on the card, it says... Yeah. He has to access a black hole in the Ooh. Forbidden Zone. Ooh. Yeah, and then I've written, ooh. Ooh la la. <laughs> and the next thing I wrote was, William went down that tunnel like a rat up a drain pipe. <laughs> <laughs> I said it was like an I'm a celebrity task, but it without was. the rats and the spiders. It was, actually. It, but... So he liked to pull back this little door, and then he like kicked it, kicked it in, and uh, went yeah. through, didn't he? Where is that again? The forbidden area, it's by in the garden, in, in isn't the, it? On, <laughs> off of the observatory deck, or whatever <laughs> observation deck, um, off the brick brick tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it looked like William was crawling up BB's rectum. It, it did look very much like that. And I think it's inappropriate to make a gay man have to do that. Anything. <laughs> he uh, said, as he, basically, when he got in there, it was obviously so dark that mm. he couldn't see a thing, could he? He was shitting it. And, and he's claustrophobic. Yeah, and he was crawling <laughs> down that tunnel. And it looked like it was never ending, didn't it? <laughs> Was that tunnel? Is Big Brother's Black Hole. It was just a circle and he just kept going round and round and then they just put the Vita thing and like Nikki did in that rat maze. <laughs> and then he goes, where I am. <laughs> <laughs> Will I am. <laughs> I've written tunnel seems endless. <laughs> <laughs> it was until he got to the end and then the secret veto <gasps> illuminated. And he said... Did he say this or did what? it say it? It said, in, <laughs> it what, in what appears to be nothingness, you have found everything. That sounds very profound. That's deep. I know. Really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it said that on the card or he said it in the diary, but that was definitely said because I wrote it down. It must have been on that that's, card. That's beautiful, isn't it? I missed that. Yeah. I like it. Mm. Poetic. <laughs> I might get that as a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, definitely do that. So yeah. his veto is valid. It lit up. Oh, oh yeah, it illuminated mm. BB's black hole. But he didn't have to take it out, did he? No, it was just, just a print, there. wasn't it? Which is good because mm-hmm. you're not going to get caught with it. Yeah. But Alison, when she found that veto, it was a bum-vito. physical thing, wasn't mm-hmm. it? The bum veto. Yeah, she yeah. had it in her back pocket mm-hmm. the whole time. Mm-hmm. Back pocket or inside her pants? Down in, yeah, up her ass. <laughs> her ass crack. <laughs> was up along Alison's with, black hole. Along with uh, Andrew Gordon. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, she was a letdown, anyway. So it's valid for two veto ceremonies, uh, but he doesn't have to use it right now. No, and he can use it secretly. Oh, really? Yeah. Can use the veto oh, so secretly. What, he's gonna, how's that going to work? I don't know. It's going to go to the DR or the bridge I and be know. like, 
oh, maybe he's going to hack the Odyssey from like a mobile phone. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> it did, honestly, it did say he could use it secretly for the next few weeks, which is even better for him. So Big Brother's just going to be like. 